outside that, yeah. And it says so she then, caused so the pain. what was the reason for it? What was the reason for because it? Because she had disobeyed him by leaving the house. So, so what, well, why was that wrong? It doesn't matter if it's right no, or wrong. The point is, is you shouldn't is. hit your wife. Have you been to Arabia? Have you been to Arabia? My friend, why, why are you trying to justify a man no, no, hitting no. a woman? It's not a hit. It's why are you doing that? It was a rub in the chest. It, it, rub it said it could hurt her. Did it say Dorama? Listen, listen, I'm reading it to you. It says here, it says here. Wait, listen, oh, well, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. He gave me a shove in the chest that hurt me. Okay, so they shove in the chest. So it ain't, that is it. It's hurting her. It's hurting no, 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 Aisha. It because she left the house oh, and, and there's, bro, in Arabia, I've been there before. There's my friend, my friend, wolves, I know you, I, I understand, I understand your reasoning, but it's no, no, just no, no, not no. going to be good enough, mate. It's, it's it really ain't going to be good enough. You're lying, but you're lying. I mean, what's saying? You've been hitting your whole life. I personally haven't hit anyone. But you're lying and saying But I've just read it. You say you're not forced to wear a shove. Yes, but how do you shove someone that hurts them? How do you shove someone that hurts them? In Iran, they force you to wear the hijab. It's not going to hurt me. If you don't wear the hijab, I would have to do it with a lot of force, wouldn't years. I? Yeah. That's yeah. the Iranian yeah. Islamic yeah. Well, That's a warning. That's a warning. Yeah. We call that assault in this country. You understand that? You could go to prison for that. You yeah, understand that? You can't that? compare the morals of this country. No, no. no my friend. Is Muhammad the greatest example for you today? Muhammad hit, I don't know, well, Muhammad hit Aisha. We don't know what she age she was, but he, he shoved her and hurt her. It's a shove. It's not a hit. Guys, guys, guys. This, this is the example of this. Where? What are you saying? It's pushing. I, I, I think the Arabic did is actually push? a lot more harsh than the English did, translation. Did it, did it, did it, but it hurt did her. Did it, it hurt push, her. Did it push give her a heart attack? No, it hurt her. Did it give her a bruise? We don't no, know, it, it just said it hurt no, it her. No, it didn't give her a bruise. Did it, it never it said that it hurt it, li it did, it literally says hurt her. Oh my god. My, my, my mate, my mate, you I hope you understand. Wait, uh, there you go. I hope yeah. you understand the situation, yeah? There's wolves and there's and there's uh, there's lions, and at the same time, we're talking about a time where there's enemies of the prophet who are looking to plot, to kill him. I understand was, that, no, 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 but that's not an excuse. excuse. Let me just finish, yeah. Mm. And there were assassins that came to him at night, as you know the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, if his wife was leaving the house when he told him to stay at home, yeah. don't you think he would have done it out of worry? He done it out of worry because he was worried. Obviously, well, he could have been killed. You followed me in the dead of night. But you're giving excuses no, no. for the behavior of Muhammad shoving a woman. Shoving a I'll say shoving that causes pain. Then I can read the literal text. Well, no, I may have to read the English imagine. translation. So if this is my son and I do that to him, am I wrong for that? Have I him? No, because you haven't hurt him. No, but what do you mean? It says hurt her. Yes, I'm we going back in circles. I keep saying it, and you're like, so get out so what, of it. How would you discipline? If you discipline your child, then you, anyone else? Yeah, yeah, but my point is, is that he hurt Aisha. So when when he said Muhammad never hit a woman. I can yeah, prove that definitively it. wrong. If you, if I Hello. physically yeah, touch you and it caused you pain, I've hit you. Hey, it's as simple as that. Hello. No one, no one. Hey. The law would say it that way. No. Go on. I was saying. Are you talking about? I don't, I don't agree with. Hello. Jesus loves you. No matter what you think of me. You're always loved, and Jesus will always be there for you as someone who knows you, as someone who calls you to Him. You're always loved, and you too as well. You're always loved. Jesus loves you, and I mean that sincerely because I want the best for you. And as much as I argue about this stuff, I argue about it because because it's so bad. I can't. All right. Well, my point is, is I, from my understanding, in the Arabic, it uses a harsher word than shove. If I'm wrong on that, I'll happily accept that I'm wrong. And yeah. Ibn Kathir, so yes, because Ibn Kathir gives criteria about how you hit women. Uh, what was it? Uh, you, know you can't hit her face and you can't kill his bruises. I mean, the miswak, the miswak. You know the, the example of the miswak? Yeah, 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 the, the stick. Yeah, yeah. I think that comes later. No, much later, no, I think. But, no, but that, comes, that applies to the same word. That's an authentic Yeah, but it comes later. The, the idea of doing that comes later, I think. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's the real understanding of that's the understanding. Yeah, but that came much later. I'm not interested in things that came later by Muslim jurists. So did he do more than that? Do you know that it came later? Yes. But did he, move, did he do more because than that? Did, did, he, did he go against his own laws when he hurt his wife? Did he what, sorry? Did he go against his own laws when he hurt his wife? And I, it would seem so. What level I mean, yeah, would she hurt? So. Would it, would she hurt? Oh, the only thing we know is that it caused her pain. Yeah, but there you are. I mean, but if, I, if I give you a slight pinch, that causes you pain. If I, was to, if I was to hit you with a car, that causes you pain. Context. You have to look it at the context. Shove. It was a shove. It wasn't a... Um, well, you know, I don't you know. know. That's you know, what that's how the English translate. You don't know. You don't know. Listen. When you, don't know. when you think about shoving, yeah. you think about you went like this and you. Yeah. No, well, you the point is, is that we do not I can, know. I can shove him like yeah. this. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, but I caused him pain. 
but it's we not don't. Abuse. Yeah, but we. Well, if you just yeah, do that to people, do, yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. When you, if you, no, no, no. If you go, if I go up to you, yeah, in the park, yeah. and I literally just do that, yeah, but if, the police will come. You understand that? Me and him know each other. Listen, listen. If I put my life in danger, as she had done by leaving the night late and late. Night, yeah, 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 she, she is, yeah. And That's what zone. the story says. Yeah, yeah. So if I was to push you, I'd be like, yeah. why'd you do that, yeah? yeah? Am I doing it out of compassion or am I doing it out of... Mate, you see, again, you're changing your story. I'm it's, not changing, it's, it's it started off with Ali Dawa saying that Mohammed never hit a wife. He I did. pointed out uh, uh, authentic hadith hit, where he shoved her and caused her pain. That's not hitting. Then all of a sudden you're like, well, yeah, That's not hitting. but, but it didn't cause pain. That's not hitting. You think you think the prophet came and barred her out the way and So in that case, then, yeah, you can, you can... In the literal sense, so hit a example, woman as long as you don't cause a yeah, example, yeah, yeah. Right. As long as you don't cause police fighting with yeah. your, with your like wife, shock. and you accidentally hurt her. Yeah. Is that abuse? No. Listen, exactly. listen, 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 listen. So what I'm saying is, you have, have to intentionally have to cause to pain. Mohammed intentionally did something physical and caused her pain as narrated by herself. There's two things. Guys, yeah, you're not going to convince me. Wait, wait, I, know, I, mean, I don't think I'm going to convince you. They had a race with Aisha. They had a race with Aisha. Now when you run, yeah, yeah, I read that. You feel pain, yeah, yeah. Right? You and he let her win, right? That mean that he, that yeah, yeah, it's a nice story. But yeah. he feels the pain though, because he made her run. You could, you yeah, could mate, there's a difference between running and, and physically so insulting so someone. Exactly. 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 Absolutely. Mate, so you're saying there's two things yeah. you can't yeah. establish with that hadith, yeah? yeah? The first one is how much pain was caused. True. We don't know. It just says it caused her pain. Second of all, there's the other thing you haven't established. I'm not talking about us, but you haven't established. Hey, go see. Go see. No, 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 I forgot that. Sorry. Listen, guys. The first one, how much pain was caused? Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you say what you want to say, but I don't think we're going to have an agreement on this. Yeah. You know? No, no, no. You haven't established the second one, sorry. The go second on, one was, was it done out of compassion or hate? And it was done out of compassion. Again, I told you she, she put her life on the, in danger. Wait, how do you know it wasn't from her uh, anger? Because huh? he was angry. But listen, can you be angry and compassionate at the same time? For example, no, hence daughter, it would be one or the other. My daughter, if my daughter, which yeah. is dangerous. Wait, yeah. bro. Yeah. If your daughter, if your daughter was to go and let's say uh, smoke weed or drink alcohol, right, 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 right. And she put her life in danger. Yeah, yeah. She done something yeah. wrong. Yeah. You would be angry, but yeah. you tell her off out of compassion. Yeah. And I would be wrong to hit her. No, but or shove her. her. To shove her. Shove, shove her. Then. Shove to grab her. Yeah. Well, hit is a generic term for many different things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you haven't been. But a shove is like an open palm. You haven't pinpointed. If I do that to you, I'd hit you. Apparently, to your definition. If you cause pain. Yeah, but but we don't know what pain it is. But we know that. Sorry. We know that there was pain. Yeah. No, if the, okay, yeah, so pain. okay, let's rephrase it then. Did Mohammed cause his wife's pain physically? Yes. Yes, but, to, but here's the thing there you're not established. I think that's enough, there, guys. Listen, I think listen, that's wait, enough. Wait, you're yeah, saying yeah. there you go, like you've, you've pushed. Wait, wait, wait. But is Mohammed the greatest moral example today? Yes. Then yes. it's permissible for you, no. for your wife, to cause her pain. Wait, wait, listen. There you you're are. Saying, thank you. Thank you for being honest. No, that's no, an no, honest answer. Thank listen, you for being honest. Listen. Like you've established the amount of pain caused. If I pinch you, that's a small amount of pain. If I was to punch you in the face, that's a different amount of pain. So yeah, what pain yeah. was caused? And are they the I don't are need they the to same? establish the severity you of do. it. I only need you to do. know that it caused her pain to make the claim that Muhammad caused physical pain to his wife. True. According to authentic hadith. That's all I'm going with. But you're, yeah. but you're taking it, you're taking it vaguely. I you're consider it, myself, and you're, and you're, you're I consider myself French, a child. Right? Like, I, I think I'm being honest. I think I'm just reading it as it is. No, no, I think you're adding, adding additional things. Well, why are you adding to the sunnah? Okay. I don't. How about I don't, this? Sorry. How about yeah. this? I've read, I've read that Joseph uh, married uh, Mariam or sure. uh, Mary sure. at a very young age, and okay, she was under age. Can you show so me a verse in the Bible that tells me? That's a very good argument. Can you but show me a single? Can that. you show me a single verse of the Bible that says that? You know, no, 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 no. no. Okay, they're gonna reference Just show it. me a verse, and I'll be happy to happy to say. They're gonna reference his age. No, the Bible isn't going to because the Bible yeah, doesn't exactly, talk about it. Right, so then why are you yeah, quoting yeah. it as an authentic source? Well, fine, I, I can bring it up for you. My point is, is that you're referring to sources we don't consider authentic, like the proto-evangelion of Thomas, and you're saying, ah, that's totally authentic. And I that's where you get that story from. So, so, okay, wait, but wait, I'm only you appealing to your authentic sources. So, if you told me this wasn't authentic, I wouldn't mention it. Okay, but yeah. you do, but you do agree that child, something we would argue now, a child marriage, happened existed back then. So yes, it did. And it was common, right? Yeah, it was very it was. common. Okay, so when in Surah yeah, 65, Ayah 4, when it talks about those who have not yet menstruated... Listen. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Then that must be talking about the common scenario, which is child, uh, child sex, right? Because that's a common scenario. No, but you can't say child sex because... But it is though, right? That, that they, you know, having sex with, like... Puberty, puberty yeah. is when we hit adulthood. So me and I can get married to a man and a woman can get married. I would actually disagree with that. I would say once you've completed puberty, not when you start puberty. There's a big difference there. Well, here's the thing. We, obviously, we say when you hit puberty. So when you get hairs, that means you hit puberty and then you're in stage of manhood now. So you've started already, all right? Yeah. 
That means you can get married, I can legally get married, and a woman can legally get married. And that's the morals and values that a Muslim hold. And that was common at that time, and common a lot, a lot, a long while after, after it. Yeah. But now it's not common. But what about the future? Okay, it's okay, that's fine. I, I, I agree with everything you've said. Oh, well, it is common gone. in Afghanistan. Is it? Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. Yeah. The, 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 okay. the, the banning, the... It's common away from India. No, it's common in Hindu culture, in, 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 in Hindu religion. Okay. In the Hindu religion, right. you get married before but, but what? Are you Hindu? Okay. Are you going no, I've read, read the text. Yeah, Hinduism is, we're not talking about Hinduism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we're, we're happy to throw Hinduism under the bus. Yeah, but, 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 Hindu text but, but you're saying that it's not common. It is. Where there is Islam, no, it is common. Sorry. In Western it's only, society, yeah, only in Western, Western society, society yeah, yeah. Western society. That's why we are trying to educate people so we right. don't get to that level of the Islamic society. As because you're trying to make this as yeah. Islamic yeah. society. As where a child education. marriage is going to be okay, right? Well, that child, what's a child to you? Anyone under 16, a child to us is anyone that's pre 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 Okay. Yeah. So, but why did Muhammad marry a people? Well, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah he did. Yeah. And no one else was allowed. No, no, no. And did he call to marriage? Look, he's, look he's, he's the example. Look, he did he's at the age of nine. nine. Did, uh, if you say, I'm the example, people. but don't follow Show me, me a single That's hadith where it says she would reach puberty. Yeah, she did puberty. Show me any hadith. I don't know. I don't There are two hadith which are mistranslations of the Arabic into English that suggest she did, but when you push on them, it's wrong. No, but I know people who do, and I talk to them. And they said that's not what it says in the Arabic. And, I can, and you can find uh, different versions of English translations that don't have that. So they've obviously changed it. You're trying to Islamic. From what I read in Sira, the field maker, I've read that by Sheikh Bani Buri in India. He said that he had hit she had hit Jupiter. That there are Islamic scholars who will be honest with you and say she didn't. But the Yasal Qadi will be honest with you and say, yeah, no, well, well, even, even it doesn't matter what he hears. The, yeah, the point is, is like, but he's an intelligent man with a PhD a in Islamic. He's he, he, no, but he's, he's rejected parts of the religion. Sorry. He's okay. Yeah. Does, does he affirm Sorry. the Sunnah? Huh? Does he affirm yeah, the Sunnah? No, he's is that like Kida? Is that, you, you, you know, he said the, okay. the Shahada, he said Tahid, he said, yeah. If I'm a Christian yeah. and I reject one part of the Bible, mm. I, I've rejected the whole Bible, right? I can't mm. just, pick, I can't just yeah. cherry pick. Yes, but obviously so a Christian won't just say, I reject part of the Bible, but I say they disagree about certain interpretations of things. Same in Islam, do you understand? Yeah. So he yeah. might have a different interpretation of things, but my point is, is he's still no, a Muslim he rejects, he's and he's still... He straight up rejects it in videos, but he rejects the, well, what does he uh, reject? the armies under, under the earth. He rejects it. The armies are coming but is that a difference of opinion in Islam? Are you saying you can't be a Muslim if you don't think that? No, if you reject one aspect of religion, it's kufr. It's the act of... Uh, well, then it, I think that in order to do that, you would have to ex uh, you would have to affirm that Muhammad did indeed have sex with a nine-year-old called Aisha. Yes. And I, yes. your sources it's don't... Yeah. Okay, I, I'll tell you what, you, you sound sincere. Go look this up after this, yeah? And look for any hadith, sunnah hadith, that says that she had achieved puberty. That's, that's my little homework for you. That's all I want you to do. Because you'll be surprised. The matter of fact is she had puberty. If she was nine, if she was She eventually did. She eventually did. And that's when it consummated the marriage. No, no. Okay, fine. I'll search it up. Search it up, my friend. But the one thing we need to establish today is that you can't just come here and say, I proved it. He's hit. But your Islamic sources do it for me. Because he's hit He's hit his wife. Well, you know it's wrong. Because you haven't established. You haven't established. How much pain was caused? You haven't established, and you can't well, prove well, my, point is, my point is, is that there was pain. No, you can't Muhammad, da uh, sorry, uh, Ali Dawa Ali said Dawa. it was no pain. I want to ask you guys a question. All right. How do you beat someone? And here's the condition. Okay. No pain. Right. No mark, and you can't hit the face. And I refuted that with Sunnah Hadith. They are. That's it. I mean, that's all I got to do, mate. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to do yeah, anything else. Again, yeah. we can't understand the, the, the level of pain. That's true. Is I don't it, know the level of no, pain. No, I don't it, know the level of pain. But there was pain. Is it not justifiable to grab your loved one in, in compassion and say, or, or even in anger as well? But is Muhammad say, not the greatest moral example? You, mean, you remember, according to you, you're exactly. saying he's better exactly. than Jesus. You so understand that? Yes, yes, yes. Why would, yeah. He's an example. He's an example. Jesus Men never get hit. angry. Yeah. Men get angry. Jesus never hit people. Jesus never took sex slaves. So you're saying that he's a sinner, so it's okay for him to do that? Men get angry, right? Men get angry with their women. It's very natural. So now that's an example for you to follow. Is it a sin? But that's for the sinners, man. Uh, the did, did Muhammad sin when he did this? No, Maybe just a little sin. You know, he, he was in the boundaries. He was completely in the boundaries. What's allowed? Oh, oh, no, he, he didn't. He didn't cause. He didn't cause bruises. He caused pain. He didn't cause bruises. He didn't break bones. He didn't cause them to bleed. Mate, mate. Yeah, the problem is, is, the more you say that, the more it sounds. You know, you ever seen those horrible things where men are like. Um, they, they hit their wives and they, they do it in a way that they don't cause bruises so that she can't tell anyone. Yeah, but that's what, that's what you sound like. But you, see, but you even said it was, in a rub, it was a rub, so how can that cause any break? Any it's a shove break? in the English translation. In the Arabic, it's I think it's more. Good to see you, sister. God bless. It's a shove, yeah. 
Uh, in the English translation, I'm pretty sure in the Arabic it's not show. Why did you do that? I think it's strike in the English. No, 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 it's not. It's well, I tell you what, we'll hate. both check. We'll both go home and we'll check. No, to worry, I'll bring it up now. I don't read Arabic, mate. I need to go to talk to Arabic people. You know, you know, violence against women. Ah, I do think where? Uh, where? Uh, in the Quran, it comes in the States. You can't break bones. You can't. What's oh, so that, you can slap the hell out of them. No, you can't. No, you can't. As long so as you, you don't cause bruises bones, right? and you don't hit their face. Dude, that's a very big argument. Which, which is, keep, which is causing pain. No, no, no. The verse you brought up. It says that Aisha felt pain. It's standard. Yeah. Your, your yeah, but, bar of standard is right there, bro. It's right there. It should be up here. It's down there. Wait, wait, wait. Mate, mate, mate. To be honest with you. I can hit her, but not cause pain. Is that what you're saying? You can only talk. Go ahead. So now, in the Quran, it says that yes, it's uh, obligatory for you to put your hands on a woman, right? Some way. Right now, to what extent? You need to use the Prophet as an example of it, right? So when the Prophet did become angry at his wife, did he go lash out and slap her in the face? No, he didn't. He done the shoving motion that caused pain. You know there are and other hadiths, enough. right? This is just one hadith. So what's the other hadith where he Okay, so, so not where he does, but where he sanctions it. So for example, there's a hadith, and again, it's, it's Sahih, yeah? Where, uh, what was it? Umar and Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha and the father of Hafsa, are in the same room as him. And they're telling stories about how when they remembered when they used to complain about money. Because they're, they're complaining about money to Muhammad. And then for, to make him laugh, they slap, uh, they slap their daughters. And Muhammad laughs at her. That's in your hadith. And then, and, then he's, and then he forbades them from seeing him. So it's a punishment. Dude, dude, my point is, why, do you, why, are you, why don't you just accept that this is the truth? But that's, that's like... It's a Sahih Hadith. I read, yeah. mate, I've... What? You don't believe in Sahih Do you want me to find it, it for you? Do you want me to find no, it for you? I'll no, find no, it for I you, believe man. in Sahih. But do, do you, you do find it, it? Again, now I can ask the question. First of all, I don't know the Hadith. I'm not going to comment on it. But I, I, if you don't know, know, then you need to look. Mate, mate, you are you, you strike me as a good person. Yeah? You strike me as a good person. You know full well you probably wouldn't do anything like this. Huh? You know you wouldn't do anything like this. You uh, know you wouldn't. I, I, would, I would do what it allows me to do. Would you, would you, would you uh, shove and smack or hit or, no, or cause no, pain no, to... No, 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 no. Cause would, pain? I would cause pain to the ma to the ma so how much is allowed. So if would you have sex slaves? Measure, huh? Would you have sex slaves? You, you, you are permitted in Islam to have sex slaves. I, I was... Ask a woman. Yeah, mate, she's when been recording the whole time. Woman and let's ask her if it's okay to hit her. Huh? Let's ask a Muslim woman well, if it's okay to hit her. Without uh, causing pain. Uh, to the extent of which is shown in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a Islamic woman. Ask her to come here. Can ask her a question. a bit old. Here we go. Do you want to read this? Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, laughed and said, They are around me, as you see, asking for extra money. Abu Bakr, Allah be pleased with him. They went up to Aisha, Aisha be pleased with her, and slapped her on the neck. And Umar stood up yeah. before Hafsa and slapped her, saying, You ask Allah's messenger that which he does not possess. It then goes on and talks about how Muhammad says, You're not allowed to see me for a while. I'm not gonna comment. Actually, I'm not gonna the, the, the context is that they are asking Muhammad for money, and my Muhammad is unhappy. Listen. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to comment on it because again, okay. I don't let me, know. Let me tell you what it is, and you can go no, home I, I, and you I, I, can... I, I, no, but I'd rather verify it myself then. Sahih Muslim, 1478, there's a link. 1478. I'll come back to you next week. Go on. Okay. I'll come back to you next week. Right. My friend, if you look at this and you find what I'm saying is true, no, please say consider this because huh? there, there's a religion that's much better than this. It doesn't I'm, I'm teach that. If, if that's what was done, and even if it was done out of anger, it was done out of spite, then I'll accept but it. But then he's not your greatest prophet, he's not the greatest moral example to you because. That's your, that's your, that's your thing. Could you repeat that once again? Your yeah, sure. No, no, no. Your but was it done out of joking? Was it done out of joking? Was it done out of laughter? Has your friend ever said But your conscience is not right with that. Sahih Muslim 1478. What's it? What's it about? So it's a. Oh, so Abu Bakr and uh, Umar slapped their daughters in front of Muhammad, and Muhammad laughed. Muhammad laughed. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, he was there. Was no, 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 this is your this is your, this is your story. It's not my story. I didn't make this up. So Abu Bakr is the father of Aisha. Yeah. And Umar is the father of Hafsa. So they slapped their daughters in front of Muhammad because Muhammad was feeling upset because they were asking him for money. 
So they thought to cheer him up, they would slap him. Yeah, and it does say laugh. Why don't you bring me one interview? Yeah. Corporate, beating any of his wives, but he married like nine wives. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, I'm going to bring up the hadith where it talks about how he caused Aisha Payne. Yeah, well, you should have Yeah. Another story. Another story. Another story. I know the story is talking about basically when Hadith Aisha went up to the Holy Prophet when he went there, he came back and he's saying he shouldn't be doubting the Holy Prophet. Mate, th there's a hadith where Muhammad gives a verdict to a man who beats his wife. And he just like, but she, she had green skin. I'm talking a different hadith. Mate, there's so many hadith. There's a hadith where there is a woman who has green skin and Aisha says, oh, her skin is greener than her clothes. And she says, I have never seen so, uh, any women suffer as much as the believing women. That's what Aisha says to Muhammad. And Muhammad doesn't rule in her favour, he rules in the man's favour. Okay. Oh. Look at these things. Look, look, look. I know Muhammad did good things. He did good things, but he did bad things. Look at, look at this up. Okay, look at this up. Yeah. But he did. But your own stories, shove them. Or hit. Oh, sorry, or, 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 or that's the English translation. But there's another hadith, the same hadith is applied to another Sahabi and to other uh, companions. Look, 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 look. Look, I'm, I'm confident the Arabic is not Misha. I know, but I've talked to Arabic people. Yeah. What's, the, what's the verb? What's the pattern that was used? The, uh, when uh, Muhammad uh, touched Aisha. Was it Dharabah? Was it Dharabah? It was it. But it caused her pain. He said it hurt me. The That's reason, what she says. No, and then he said, the reason why I, I, I slapped you on the chest is because you shouldn't be doubting God and his messenger. Okay, fine. But that actual touch caused her pain. It caused her pain, yes. So he did hit her then? Yeah, he so did. I mean, I, mean I, no, I don't, she, I don't, she, she, if she, I hit you and I cause you pain, and you're like, fuck, that, that oh, hurt, God, yeah, yeah. you know, you're going to be... No, 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 no. Oh. If, I, if I went, if, if you're my friend now, yeah, if yeah. I went that to you, has that caused you pain? Sorry, no, 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 uh, let's say if I not enough that I would not enough that I would say it caused me pain. Yeah, it's ob it's obvious a friendly tap. But my point is, is there is a action you can do. And keep in mind, the context tells us she's angry. Uh, sorry, he's angry at her. She's done something wrong, and he's disciplining her. Yes. Exactly. So you have to think, what, what actually is the context of this and yeah. what is he doing? So, so is he going to like no, do that? At, no. Black and white view. There's a I'm behind. just reading First it honestly. Of all, it's husband and wife. Yes. Second of all, we don't live in a 21st century anymore. But if that's the case, then you cannot say Muhammad is your greatest prophet and you follow because that was back then. Live, sorry, sorry, forgive me. We don't live in, in the UK or Western countries. This was not in the UK or Western countries in the 21st century. Okay? I'm not saying the best of uh, values we have today and these objective values that we should all accept and, and uh, this the democracy is the best thing ever happened. No, no, no. But that, that, that's what was allowed back then. Actually, do you know what? Even worse, the standard of how women were treated back then were even worse. The w daughters were buried by the Arabs before Islam. There right? are cases. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely so, agree. So don't Muhammad you agree, forbade don't you that. Agree. That agree. This is a better yep. alternative than that. Well, Muhammad also did worse things because, uh, in one way, he did do good things. That's correct. But remember that his wife Khadija was a traitor. She was a very successful financial trader and she would have been a pagan. So to say that pagans were doing just all the bad things and Muslims were doing just all the good things isn't true, right? So what I'm saying is, is that there are, there are things that Muhammad forbade, which it's good to have forbade, like the killing of orphans and the killing of female children. The uncle of Prophet was one of his most loved people. He cried for three days after he died. The uncle of Abu Talib. Abu Talib, okay. Right. He had cried yeah. for days on end yeah, after yeah. his death yeah, yeah. because he had done so much good. He protected him. He done everything. Yeah, but my that's, but he that, mate, I can find you people that so venerated so Joseph so Smith. So Does not mean he's a prophet? Guys. No, no. Hadith al-Qur'an is a basically it's like a charity. It's basically in order that anyone likes in debt or anyone likes to leave wrong. Go on. I'm, very, I'm gonna wrap this up by the way, guys, because I, I want to go on with other stuff. But if you want to say final final words to me, then yeah. Final words. Yeah, yeah. Final words is uh, basically in Islam, a uh, woman is not to be uh, treat, mistreated. There's a lot of people, and the woman in Islam is uh, well protected in terms of Islamic uh, literature and Islamic teachings. Uh, by the guidance, we take the guidance of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu character, and he never he never hit a woman in his life. In, uh, Okay, guys. I, I think you would do on that because otherwise I'm just going to argue with no, you. Yeah. The verb used, the verb used is very much different from hit or strike. But you see, you got two different sayings here. He's saying never at all, and you're saying yeah, but remember, it's like no, this. No, 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 but it, yeah. again, but it's different. It's different. What, what, uh, uh, a strike is different from what. what my friend, what that verb shall we, shall we end this? Well, shake hands and say, we'll go and we'll do our homework and we'll, we'll look into this.
and then we can know what the truth is. Well, how about you look at the translation of the word? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. When I go home, I'm gonna go and look at this to double check. The next time you should, you should sorry, brother. Realistically, realistically, you should have done that before you came to the pod. So I bring it back. Well, the issue is, is every time I do that, I can't come here and say I know Arabic. No matter what happens, if I tell you the Arabic means this, and I'm pretty sure it does mean something worse than shove, I can't tell you because I'm not an authority to tell you. And every Muslim will say, he doesn't know Arabic, and you shouldn't listen to him. I'm an, I'm an Arab. Do you understand? So I have to constantly rely on Arabic speakers yeah. in order to know that. But I, there's not many Arabic speakers here who are Christian who are going to tell me honestly. I'm an Arab, but so, I'm not denying what he said, and it hurt the, the actual slap on the chest. It hurt us. He said it hurt him. And there you go. That's, that's honest. But, but, yeah, but the answer to it is not, he didn't hit her because it's a personal matter. He hurt her. I agree with you. I, th I think the story is clear yeah. why he did that. Yeah. But my point is, is that therefore it is valid to say that Muhammad did indeed cause pain through a physical action to his wife. Yeah, but it's not abusive. Well, it's that's abusive. where we're different, mate. I, I don't think there's any case that you can do that apart from in self-defense. You know, I mean, unless you're going to tell me but how no, should... you yeah. You're applying the values of today. You are. Because I think the values of today that I believe are the same that you believe. I think you probably agree. If you took all, this all away from Islam, didn't talk about Islam whatsoever, you talked about some guy who lived down the road, who, you know, is like a, a white guy, and you heard a story of him doing that to his wife, I'm willing to bet you would agree with me and saying, that's not right. You have to differentiate at some point between being a husband and being a prophet of God. He, he, the way he smacked her, it was for that reason, because she doubted Allah and his prophet. She went out because she Yeah, she, she goes out home. in the early hours she of the night. She yeah. one of her yeah. wives. Yeah. Then that's why you... Yeah. No, I bet the story of the another, house, uh, another thing, yeah. another question I have to bring to you as well, yeah? Yeah. We have to understand that Islam came down 14,000, 1,400 yes. years ago. Yes, yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and what I'm saying, Islam is perfect. For my understanding, it is perfect. It's perfect. And it's perfect today. Huh? No, no. Okay. So now... It's not perfect today. Wait, wait, wait. No. Okay, so it is perfect today. Yes. So the morals yeah. and values yeah. of yesterday... Yeah. Of, referring to thousands of years ago they're still valid today they're not, no, they're not the same as they were today and right. furthermore they won't be the same tomorrow so up to yeah. only up to only right. 100 years ago, 200 okay. years ago yeah. it was permissible for you to put your hands on a woman okay, okay. Right. but to what extent i understand extent? that yeah. and now islam has come down to you with yeah. that with that barrier yeah. sure. so you should you should only you should again with the ibn kathir you even reference him back yeah then. ibn kathir i've read ibn kathir's so tafsir read read on, yeah, on yeah, surah 65 i4 and also uh so so 4 verse 34 so the toothbrush that they yeah. hit the skin well, yeah, that doesn't mention the, that, that particular stick. It just mentions the restrictions. It talks about you can't hear her in the yeah, face and you can't cause her bruises. The idea that you can't cause her pain or yeah. the idea that you use that mitwak or whatever it's called is a later, much later thing. Islam, Islam, Islam in terms of its uh, jurisprudence and its law and its fiqh comes later, do you understand? And that still happens today. You, you can find so Muslim rulers who are going to fatwas about well, certain topics. But they derived that right. from, from the sunnah. Yes, but they're adding their own. The they're adding uh, a consensus as well. So you have the the Quran, you have the the Sunnah, yeah, yeah. which is the Hadith and the Sirah, yeah. and then you'll have the consensus. That's right, yeah. And then you, depending on the school you belong to, depends if you accept uh, analogical reasoning. Depends, if, yeah, depending on what school you belong to. Is that is that right? Am I all right? Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to go check. But my point is, is that a lot of what Islam says about this matter is is what uh, Muslim scholars today. Are looking into and they're saying right Quran says this Sunnah says this doesn't fully give us guidance about that issue so we will best as we can give a verdict and a consensus is there, yeah. ikhtilaf, or is there a difference of opinion on the matter there will be differences of opinion no, no, on the matter that yeah. you should hit your wife and it's allowed for you to beat your wife so listen my understanding is all schools will say that you can it's a question of what is permissible though do you understand there is is there, any, is there a mahab that says uh, you cannot in any circumstance lay a hand on your wife is there anyone, any of the no, former? The, the right, exactly. That's correct. Yeah, and that's what and that's what Islamic jurists say, because they look at the Quran and the Sunnah, and they know full well that that's the case. Yeah. And they look that's at the not allowed to do that under subversive circumstances, but the wait, wait, wait. Said, but said, the best amongst you will never do it. Okay, I, I know there is that hadith. He did say that. The issue is this: the Quran, which is the highest authority, says very clearly about when the circumstances come that you can do this. Yeah. It's very clear. If you fear rebellion, this is Surah 4, Ayah 34. If you fear rebellion, if you, had, if you admonish her, you tell her she's wrong, you then forbid her from sleeping in your bed, and then finally, after you've done these two things, you then may beat, strike, slap, whatever you translate it as. It's not, it's not open like that, it's not an open term like that. Well, it depends how you translate it, because many translations, like Sahih International, will have a very, uh, very Western translation, but so another translation will have a more honest to the Arabic translation. I mean, it is. We have to go back to if there's a tradition. Yeah. 
prophet was interpreted by the Holy Prophet because we believe that the Holy Prophet is the only one that he can interpret the, the Quran and it's the, it's the only right translation. Okay. Anyone else can make mistakes. Even the Sahaba, the companions of the Holy Prophet, they sometimes understood the verse in a way and the Holy Prophet corrected Are, are you sal Salafi? Or? No, no, the companions at, at the time of the Holy Prophet, yeah. they sometimes interpreted the Quran in a way before it's right, but then the Holy Prophet corrected it. And the wife of the Holy Prophet is wrong. Okay, so, okay. So, well, my point is, we have authentic hadith in the Sunnah. It talks about Muhammad causing Aisha pain and about Abu Bakr and Umar causing uh, Hafsa and Aisha pain in front of Muhammad. It wasn't, it wasn't slapping a neck. It didn't say cause pain. In the neck, yeah. It doesn't say that. But my point is, why would you slap someone in the neck? What's, what's the point of it? Yeah. So I could, I could do the same like Yeah, but... Yeah, but, yeah, but. <laughs> Do you know how silly that would make it look? You, like if I if I was like, oh, you're you're upsetting my friends. I'm going to. Who do you think you're talking about? You're not talking about uh, yeah. Tom Dick and Harry. You're yeah. talking about a, fa uh, a father and a yes, uh, daughter. Absolutely. But the context makes it clear. Oh, absolutely. The context makes it clear though that Muhammad is upset that they're asking him for money, and they're doing this as a form of discipline. And we know it's discipline because in the very next part of the same hadith. It talks about how Muhammad forbade, uh, says, uh, "Don't be, don't be with me for a while, for like a month or so." He left the house for a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He left his house. So, so we know it's in the context of discipline, oh. and they they're slapping them because they're, they're his daughter. So he's like, "Yeah, I'd slap you." It wasn't a real slap. It, was it, was, it wasn't. Well, it just says slapped on her neck. And it made him laugh. Do you think it was a beating? My, my, my point is, is that I think that you being sincere would not hold to the same things today that you would uh, Muhammad did back then. And I think that's a problem for you because in Surah 33, Ayah 21, it says that Muhammad is the greatest example for you. Yeah. And I don't think you can hold to that sincerely. Yeah, I, can. He definitely is. I can. Because look, he's again, again, here's the thing you're not understanding. You're thinking he was a normal human being. Mm. He came out to set examples to you. But was he so not now, just a messenger? He was just a messenger, yeah. So, yeah if he's but, not just, well, yeah. I mean, it, it's difficult because on the one hand, the Quran says, he is, well, Muhammad says he is just a messenger, yeah? yeah? When he talks about the context of why he didn't give miracles. But then on the other hand, it makes it clear that he is to be venerated because according to Surah 33, Ayah 21, he is the greatest uh, example for the Ummah. Yes, yes. So he's an example for you. So right. now, but, but, when, yeah. when a person is angry at his wife, yeah. right, and he's been enraged by his wife, whatever she's done, do you, does he go and lash out and punch her in the face and this and that? Or does he follow right. the greatest example? Exactly. Who he did indeed, who did incident. indeed hurt his exactly. wife, you know. What did the Holy Prophet yeah. do in this incident when his two Thank wives, for like, it's not to be rude. It's to us. It's very hard to understand because yeah, we wouldn't. I don't laugh at anything that you say, don't I? Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I say, no, no, it's it's not it's not out of harshness. Anyway, what are you saying? What are you saying? No, I was just saying that the Holy Prophet, when his wife upset him, yeah. he didn't he didn't beat him up. He didn't do anything. He just left the house for a whole month. So again, though, but we've already talked about hadith where when Aisha did something that did upset him, he did shove her to cause but her pain. I thought we passed this point because I explained why it happened. It yeah, yeah but my point is, so don't, so don't say that he never did it then, because no, no, he did do I it. I didn't say yeah. never, I said it in this incident, in this very one, in one incident, yeah. very rare occasion, yeah. it happened once. Okay, that doesn't matter how many times it happened. And it was for the reason yeah. for... Okay, yeah, there's, there's a reason, yeah, there's a reason. The reason is, but then it, it did happen. So if, he, if here's the example, if your wife ever upsets you and forbades you by leaving the house without your knowledge, right. it's permissible for you to use uh, physical force to that, hurt her. It doesn't say in Quran if your wife leaves the house without your permission, you are okay. allowed to beat her. Nothing but that's what Aisha did though, right? No, okay, no, okay. No, you no, said, no, you no, said no, it was a bigger reason. Okay, that's right. What happened is, right. uh, the Holy Prophet was in, in his house, right? And he was yeah. told by the angel that he needs to go there to pray for some dead uh, martyrs. So when he went there, what happened is she followed him. That's it, she followed him, yeah. She followed him thinking he's going yeah. to... Uh, and he, and he sees her and... Yeah. Then he came back home and he heard that like, yeah. she was... And he asked her, were you the shadow that I saw? Yeah. 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 So we asked her, what's wrong with you? Why are you offending and things? Were yeah. you the one following me? She said, uh, yes. He said, you're doubting Allah and his messenger and slapped her one slap on the face. That's the story. Here. If you doubt Muhammad or Allah, yeah. But then, yeah, you can... Yeah, yeah, he Muhammad. doubts her because he said, be at home. Yeah. It's safe for you to be at home. Yeah. Again, as I told you, Arabia is not London. There are people who want to go kill the prophet. I, I, I understand. I, I get that. There are wolves. There but are. Uh, I definitely, I, I definitely there get the context. Uh, the context is not the same today. I totally get that. But the reason, the problem is though, is that if you acknowledge the context is not the same, then he cannot be your greatest moral example because the context is not the same. Do you understand the problem? It's the same. Look, it's the same thing. Then you can't say Jesus is your greatest example. We do because he he taught us in principle, not on rules. He didn't say you could beat your wife. If you admonish her first, you uh, abandon her from the bed, and if you, st you still fear rebellion, then you can uh, strike her. Jesus, it doesn't say that to us. But but Jesus didn't have sex slaves. Jesus didn't have a wife. Jesus didn't hit people. Well, I Jesus he didn't. Had a wife. He got married later on. 
Yeah. But, but that's, that's not in our religion. Well, that's the problem as well for you, because yeah. he never taught you how to speak a wife. He wasn't an example. He never got married. But, but my friend, married. our other scriptures, our Old Testament, and even verses in our New Testament tell us how a man should treat his wife. We know this. We, we don't. We, and Jesus himself taught us how to love all. Yeah, yeah, he mean, loves all those who come to him, yes? Yeah, I mean, Jesus didn't have a wife in Islam. Oh, he said he was. He said he was. I don't know what he said he did. I didn't think he did. In Islam, it's never mentioned that. How you doing, brother? Not too bad, dude. Yeah, I'm doing well. He was not a leader. Yeah, I feel bad. Huh? JC, Bob. JC ain't here, he's in Italy. And uh, Bob is. Oh, he should be here, but. Come on. Well, um, guys, I'm going to wrap this up if that's all right. But it was a pleasure to talk to you. I appreciate the time. It was a very relaxed chat. I know it's a very difficult topic, but you were honest and sincere. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. Oh, would you like to take this to learn about who we consider to be our greatest moral example? This is what the Christians believe. Jesus loved the church yeah. and he died for her. That's the example that we follow. You know, it said in the Bible it says that a man should love his wife as he loves his own That's body. Great. That's amazing. I don't seem to get that it says that in, in your religion. The Holy Prophet said, the Holy Prophet said, the best amongst you is the best the best for his wife. And I am the best for my wife. It doesn't mean anything in fact. And the actions but the actions don't show that. What makes you your religion better than Because this is just words. The actions show that Muhammad didn't think that. Excuse me, don't worry about that. Alright. Thank you. So I want you to Alright, take care guys. I respect and I love Muslims. I think I had a bottle of coke, but I think it went missing. You want me to get you one? No, 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 that's fine, mate. Don't worry about it. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I have to ask, are you, are you Muslim or Christian? Or? No, uh... All right, sure. Is that your channel? Yes, uh, my channel is... If you're going to upload it, could you blow my face up? All right, I'll blow your face, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because right. you asked me respectfully, I will. I do Yeah. Do you, you want to be off camera? Yeah. This one. Don't record me. Yeah. Yeah. Just end the recording.